You're watching Samuel Goodwin on YouTube, and I have some tips for you if you are an adult getting into skateboarding or if you have children who are getting into skateboarding. So uh, as you all might know, this is a skateboard. These uh, metal bits here are the trucks where your wheels are attached. This is the part that's responsible for steering. So skateboards steer by you putting your weight to one side or the other, which causes this to tilt and twist a little bit. So that way you can turn. The part that controls how easily you can do this are the bushings, which are these squishy bits in here. Mine are, are white, you can see. By default, trucks are gonna come with bushings, usually that are aimed at like a, a full-size person. So if you have children who are not full-size people yet, you probably need softer bushings. You're gonna notice this if you see them stand on the board and try to lean and turn and it really seems like they're putting all of their weight into their toes, for example, and they're just not turning or not turning very much. That's because these bushings are probably too hard for their body weight. And they make much softer ones than what's usually in here by default. You just have to go buy them. Fortunately, this is not a very expensive thing. Uh, usually like 10 bucks or so will get you something that is much softer or much harder than what you have. If you're an adult and you're on the heavier end, like, you know, maybe uh, you got a lot of muscle, let's say, or you're just a really tall, really big person or whatever, you might want harder bushings. Because technically what you can do here, there's a, a little nut and you can tighten this down with the tool. That will make it feel like now it's not quite so floppy, but what you're doing is you're taking away from the range of motion of the truck. So if you only need to do that a tiny bit, like maybe that's okay, but if you're really having to crank down to feel stable on your board, you probably just need harder bushings. The whole point of the bushing is it's meant to squeeze and squish as you lean on them. And then when you level out, it returns back to a sort of default position. But if you crank down on these really hard, what you're doing is making it to where they're squeezed before you start leaning. And they only have so much capacity for compression, so they're already compressed some by default, and then you're trying to compress them even more when you turn, which means they're not gonna work as well. And also the bushing just generally being in that compressed state while it's sitting around all the time is, is, is going to cause it to, to degrade faster. So we want our bushings to last. We don't wanna to have to mess with this every month or whatever. So just go get yourself some harder bushings if you find that what's in there is like too floppy for you gonna save you so much hassle, so much grief, and you'll feel so much better on your skateboard when you have bushings that better fit your body weight and your preference. Because what I use at my weight is maybe not what you would use, even if you weigh the same amount as me, that's okay. But go find you something that works better for you. Maybe go a little harder, maybe we'll go a little softer, depending on what you're trying to do. Second thing is bearings. You don't need very expensive bearings. Bones Reds are like the standard in skateboard bearings and they're usually about $20, 20 euros, depending on where you're getting them. But you need bearings that are clean and lubed and ready to spin freely. We don't have any kind of motor here. We're not on an electric skateboard. This is just a regular skateboard. So it's really important that the wheels can spin freely. And if you, if you turn them in your hands like this and you can feel graveliness, resistance, or you hear metal screeching against metal, that means your bearings are dirty, your bearings are gross, they need to be cleaned. You could just buy new bearings, but that costs money. So at the very least, just clean them. Take them out, give them a good cleaning. There's all kinds of instructions on how to do this on the internet. It's going to help a lot. I know a lot of people, especially if they're getting started, they're, they're afraid of, of how easily the board rolls, you know? And so they think, oh, well, if my bearings are slow, if my bearings are dirty, then that'll help me because then I won't go as fast. But I don't think that's a very accurate assumption. What instead is happening is that when you do actually wanna go any kind of speed, you're having to do more work to get there. And also you stop rolling sooner so if you get a couple pushes in the skate park, you're rolling over to what you want to do and you can feel yourself like slowing down almost to a stop before you get there. Like that's not very helpful. That's really fighting against what you're trying to do. 
Like generally skateboarding is scary, going fast is scary. These are all things that we have to get used to, but you're gonna make skateboarding harder for yourself if your bearings don't wanna spin. So get some nice ones, get them clean, keep them that way. Things are gonna be much better for you. Last detail that's pretty helpful is if you skate bigger wheels, like bigger than 54 or 55 millimeters, uh, which is especially handy if you're doing like fairly deep bowls or you just have really rough ground and stuff and you need help rolling over that without getting stuck on everything. If you skate bigger wheels, get riser pads. They're a little bit of material that goes underneath the truck so that your trucks are just a little bit taller. And that way you don't get wheel bite so much where when you turn, the wheel rubs against the board and causes you to stop. Usually that's gonna put you in the floor because sudden stopping tends to put you in the floor. And you can help reduce your chances of that by giving yourself just a little more space. I know some people crank down on the bushings to do this, but that's not a very nice way to do it because like we said, cranking down on bushings is super not good for the bushings and kind of kills your turning ability. So we still wanna be able to turn, we just don't want the wheels rubbing against the deck so easily. So a little risers help. I know a lot of people don't like this, especially if they're into like super technical street skating or whatever, but then they're skating much smaller wheels usually, so that helps avert not to be an issue for them. But if you do skate bigger wheels like me, then riser pad. So that's all for this week. Just some useful tips for you, because if your kids are getting into skateboarding, it helps to at least know about this stuff. You can make things easier for them so they can actually have fun learning. And if your kids are getting into skateboarding, then maybe you should try to because it's a lot of fun and uh, you know, how many opportunities are you gonna get to do stuff with your kids? It's really just like nonstop airplanes. Just right, right over the top of the house. And for all those adults skating, these tips are gonna help you have a little easier time skating. Get out there, do your thing, skate as much as you can, find some other people to skate with, that usually helps. And uh, don't worry about what these like dumb children say about you at the skate park, because they're dumb children. What are, like what do they know? They got like partially formed brains. Just just leave them alone. Worry about what you're doing. But otherwise, you know, hopefully you go outside and get some fresh air, take a walk or something. Hopefully the weather's starting to improve, so you can actually like do stuff outside. If if you don't skate, you should certainly try. And you know, like drink a bunch of water and and take care of yourself. And we'll catch you next week.